Hello and welcome to this month's masterclass all about my favorite skincare product, good old Vaseline. So this is my bedazzled Vaseline and I have my mini Vaseline and of course my tin of Vaseline. So in this masterclass, I'm going to tell you everything you ever wanted to know about Vaseline and also why it's actually such a good product or such a special product. And I think the first thing to say is people are afraid of Vaseline. So it comes from petroleum. It must not be safe. So basically what Vaseline is, is petroleum jelly, correct, or petrolatum. And it is a very complex mixture of hundreds of saturated hydrocarbons. That's the chemistry of it. And it's produced by the fractional distillation of petroleum. And it's refined and refined and refined to remove color, aromatic hydrocarbons, and any impurities. So that is how petroleum is made. It's made by Unilever, which is the company. It's very, very safe. The Vaseline you buy is totally purified. It has nothing to do whatsoever with petroleum. I would also say that there is Vaseline in virtually every single moisturizer you buy. It's pretty much in everything because the other names for Vaseline are mineral oil, uh, white soft paraffin, paraffin, petroleum, petrolatum, all these products are the same. So, and that's because, or have Vaseline in them, and that's because Vaseline is the most occlusive moisturizer or emollient that exists. Now, basically, let's take a step back here. Moisturizers don't impart hydration, so they don't give anything to your skin. Um, contrary to popular opinion, moisturizers don't really moisturize. <laughs> what they do is they create a barrier to water loss. So hydration has to do with the amount of water in your skin, and that's in your stratum corneum and in your viable epidermis. So basically the epidermis, the top layer of your skin. When you have less water in your stratum corneum, it makes it appear dry, um, flaky, it feels tight. Hydration is about having water in there, and the best way to get water in there is to trap it in there, so to stop it from leaving the epidermis. So transepidermal water loss, transepidermal water loss, is the water that passively diffuses out of your skin throughout the day. And it's about 300 to 400 milliliters a day, or mils a day. That's how much you lose just naturally through your skin. So what an occlusive moisturizer does, or emollient, like this one, is it creates a layer that blocks that water loss. And that's how it hydrates. So it doesn't actually add anything. It just sits there, kind of like cling film on your skin. So that does the same thing. It blocks transepidermal water loss. So um, Vaseline is 99% occlusive. It's more occlusive than any other topical product on the market, which is why Vaseline is in all your moisturizers. However, it's quite greasy, as you know. So what all moisturizers do is they try to create the right or the same kind of occlusive effect without having it be as greasy. And that's what water does. So they put water in it to make it less sticky, less greasy. But by having water in it, it's less occlusive because the water evaporates and then you're left basically with nothing. So that's why Vaseline is still going to be your number one moisturizer because it's occlusive. Um, it can be put on top of other products. So it can be put over your retinoid, your tretinoin, um, to help seal in hydration. And that's not dangerous or unsafe at all. So Vaseline is a really interesting product because it's, um, not only hydrating, it's also antibacterial and also anti-inflammatory, which makes it actually, um, a really unique product. When it's put on your skin, it does go into the little crevices within between the cornea sites of your stratum corneum. So it does go in there and fill that area a little bit. So that, that helps create this kind of boundary or this um, occlusive wall, if you will, to water loss. Now in the 1970s, it was found that Vaseline um, was anti-inflammatory. And there was a study done in 1976. I'm just looking at my notes here to make sure I tell you the right thing. It was In 1976, there was a study done to show it reduced inflammation in real life skin disease. And it was used, um, the skin disease was chronic plaque psoriasis. So there's um, a phenomenon called the Kobner phenomenon. If you have psoriasis, you might know what I'm talking about. Basically what that means is if you have psoriasis, which is these plaques of, of red scaly skin that tend to occur on the elbows, the knees, um, on the scalp, on your lower back, um, and psoriasis is due to the hyperproliferation of cells that aren't clearing quickly. Um, 
what basically happens is that if you were to scratch your skin in an area of your skin that's not affected by psoriasis or damage your skin in any other way, you would develop psoriasis within that damaged part of your skin. And that's called the Kobner phenomenon. So what these investigators did is they pre-treated, for example, the forearm of a patient with psoriasis with Vaseline um, twice a day for three weeks. And then, and they had a control arm, which was the other arm, which was not treated with Vaseline. And then they damaged the skin by scratching both forearms. And they found that the forearm pre-treated with Vaseline did not develop psoriasis, but the other forearm did. And that's how they were able to show that petroleum had an inhibitory effect on that. So it had an anti-inflammatory effect. So that's one thing. The other thing that was found is that Vaseline can inhibit light or sunlight induced tumor formation in mice, which is actually super interesting. So this experiment was done by Albert Kligman, who's like the godfather of dermatology. He found that if you applied Vaseline to a hairless mouse right before irradiating them, so putting them into UV light three times a week for 20 weeks, you would not have tumor growth on that mouse. But if you used for example, another moisturizer, for example, lanolin. Lanolin was only 50% effective against protecting for tumor growth, but Vaseline was 100% effective. So, and cold cream had no effect. They found that petroleum, like Vaseline, had an SPF effect of two, which obviously is not good enough for it to be an actual kind of sun protector. But it did show that Vaseline has more of an effect on skin than just occluding it and making it kind of stop water loss. So Vaseline is a remarkable um, product. It also enhances the repair of a damaged skin barrier. So there was a study done in 2001 where um, basically uh, the stratum corneum was damaged by a patch test with sodium lauryl sulfate. And sodium lauryl sulfate is a known irritant. So sodium lauryl sulfate was put on, for example, the arm for 24 hours to damage the skin. Um, and then, so that increased transepidermal water loss by 20 times. Then they tested six different moisturizers to see which one was able to create the fastest barrier repair after five days of three times application. So basically they damaged the skin with the um, skin damaging agent. So this was so sodium lauryl sulfate. Then they applied the moisturizers three times a day for five days to the affected area in a thin layer to find which one was the best performer. Which one in decreased transepidermal water loss the most? And of all of them, the best performer was, you guessed it, it was Vaseline. So they found that the more greasy the moisturizer, the more rapid the rate of repair. So the more oil in it, and it's basically 100% oil, uh, the more rapid the rate of repair. So these are all extremely interesting and really relevant findings because it does keep highlighting how something as simple and basic as um, pure petroleum jelly, um, which is probably the cheapest moisturizer you can buy today, is actually probably the best one too. It's anti-inflammatory. It even seems to protect against UV damage. And it is the best at restoring a damaged skin barrier better than any other product on the market. So when someone asks me what is the best moisturizer, I pretty much always say it's this one. And of course, everyone looks at me like I'm totally crazy, but it has a really strong evidence base and there's a lot of science behind that. So I'm not just making something up. I'm not paid by Unilever. Uh, no one's ever given me free Vaseline ever. So I've always, well, I got this as a gift and I got, and I, well, I paid for this, um, but it is by far the best moisturizer. So if you're looking for face body moisturizer, um, oh, and it's also non-comedogenic. It does not clog pores, does not cause breakouts. That's been well established. It's used in studies of comedogenic products as the negative control. So the thing we know does not cause comedones. I'm doing another masterclass about um, com comedogenicity. So I'll talk about that more there. But if you have acne, don't worry. It's been trialed, it's been studied. We know that um, Vaseline does not cause acne. So um, please use it because it does all those other great things too. Right, so there's your 10 minute rundown on the magic which is in this little tub and why you should use moisturizer as, or sorry, why you should use Vaseline as your moisturizer of choice.